Hello guys, Robert Wiz here. Today I'm going to show you how to create an end plate that looks like this, a flat plate, and then also how to do an end plate that has an angle type connection. So this is a connection that goes from the column, steel column to a steel beam. So please stay tuned. Okay, let's start by adding in the connections. So we go to structure, go to the tab where it says connections, press on the connection arrow button here. Then we're going to look for the uh, cleat or clip angle detail. We're going to add that. And then we're looking for the single side end plate. And we're going to add that and say OK. Now we're going to do the first connection that column to this beam we're going to say connection click on the beam or column um, press control on your keyboard and click on that um, beam and say enter now you'll see that the connection is not being generated it's because it's trying to generate a connection that cannot work for that specific plate or connection rather so if i say a clip angle You'll see that the clip angle has been generated for us in this specific connection. So you can go and change this. If I go to edit type, you can make this um, angle a bit deeper or longer rather. So it's almost the same depth as your beam. So you just go to edit parameters. Here you can play around with all the different types of parameters and sizes. Just refer to, you see here it says 1. And if you go here, that's the one dimension that it refers to. So if you change or add any dimension or number here, it will affect that specific dimension. So for this exercise, if we go to vertical bolts, we're just going to have a look at all these different um, settings that they give us here so we currently have one group where we have two um, bolts but we can change that to three and you can see that it increases our plate um, depth and there again so here you can say or change the dimension if you see that is five so if you go to five that is 30 mils from the top then the six is the 75 mils between the bolts so if i change that to 100 you'll see that it increases the spacing between the bolts so i'm gonna just leave it like that um and then we can maybe just change the bolt size to m16 something like that Let's say okay and okay again and there you can see it's actually updated our key uh, detail for us um, so that's the first connection and then the second connection we go to connection again click on the column press control on your keyboard click on the beam say enter now it's obviously not generating that base or that end plate so just go and select the end plate they generated our end plate for us just always make sure if if i click on this you'll see that there's a two and there's nothing if i click on this dot you'll see it, it actually makes the beam or the column the primary connection and that's not correct so if this would happen for some some reason that the connection is very odd just click on this so it just runs to through the two different um connection types so that you make sure you you want to do the connection from the beam to the column and not the column to the beam um, if that is your preferred connection type so now we can go and edit this same way we did for the first connection so the notch top and bottom detail you can play around and look at all of these connections i don't usually change any of this because the shop detailers they usually change these types of details we as the engineers just give them a typical in plate detail 
and they then obviously do it according to the standard. So then if I go to the vertical bolts, we can change this group again to four. So you can see we've increased our plate length and we can change our intermediate distance to, if we say 150, then your plates below your I-beam. So you can maybe change it back to 100. So it sits above. It's obviously all up to, to you and what you want to see. You can also set the plate to be in the middle of the, um, you know, the setting out of the plate is going to be from the middle of this beam. So then here you can also change the plate length by total from top or total from the bottom or total from the middle. So I'm going to do total from the middle, plate length. Let's just change that to 200. You can see it starts increasing. So let's make that 400. That looks a lot better. There you have that plate. So I'm going to leave it as is. So once again, just play around with these um, different types of parameters that you can fill in here. There's so many different ways of doing this. You can also add in stiffness beam stiffness so just say if you want a stiffness say both it will generate some sort of stiffener like that then you can change the width of that stiffener to 100 or and even make it 200 so it's something like this so you can obviously just play around with that i'm just going to say none for the moment and i'm going to say okay and okay again now you'll see we have two end plate connections. We have this type to call it, and then that type that we have there. So you can also go and dimension this. So if I go to the level two, which is where I've actually placed these connections, I'll do a section like that. And I'll just go and view the section. Always make sure this is on fine and then I'll just change the scale to 1 to 10 so you can have the detail and actually see the bolts so you'll notice that I'm going to put this on wireframe the reason for that is so that you can dimension these bolts and I will show you now what I mean by that just go back to level 2 we just want to pull back the section indicator so you don't see what's going on in the background. We just want to cut through our plate and our section up to there. If I go back to my section, you'll see that you won't see the plate in the background. The second plate rather. So I just want to show you if I change this back to hidden line. And I want to go and dimension my bolts. You'll see it does not snap to the middle of that bolt. And... Um, the only way you can fix this is by drawing in a reference plane like this and then doing a dimension. But as soon as you delete that re reference plane, your dimension is also going to go away. So how I do this is I just go and change it to the wireframe. Then I go and dimension it. I go DI and then you'll see now there's like a little dot that pops up here that you can actually click onto. And that's your center again and again okay that's the wrong just take it to there there you can see now it's to the center of the bolt you can do the same going down like that and now if you want to change it back to let's say a realistic view you can do that and it won't affect your dimensions at all um just take note that if you want to try and dimension it now it's not going to work you'll see there's no dot but as soon as i change it back to wireframe and try to do it again you can see that dot pops up there so that was just some extra information if you wanted to give your plates some dimensions but guys that's basically how you do a connection from steel beam to a steel column 
so thank you for watching guys i hope you liked this video please like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video cheers guys